All right, this is our first test of the Climax truck, electric, with, uh, let's see, Sabertooth 2x60. Um, controller, this is, a, well, motor driver, I guess you could say. And we've got the $6 radio receiver right there. I hope, you can, I hope you can see that. It's a, uh, hold on a minute, I have the box here. This is just a cheapie that I got. I think, I don't know how many years ago I got this. But here again, just a test. And just want to see how things would work. How's that work? And there's the handheld, which of course is not going to be what I use. This is just for fun. You know, I mean, just for testing. Uh, the little control panel. I haven't touched anything yet. I have no idea what I'm even doing. Um, I just turn things on. There's all kinds of settings in here. I just don't even know what they are. All I know is the light came on red on there. And I, when I applied power, the thing started spinning. I turned on the handheld and then it got them under control. A channel one, I guess. It, I don't even know which what channel. I guess channel one is steering on here. So, of course, that's my throttle, which is what I would want. I'd like that. I don't like the, the trigger. So, um, let's go ahead and give her, a, give her a shot here and see what we got. And there we go. That's full. It's not bad. I should put it, I have a, spe a speed gun in there. I should put a little piece of tape on there. Get an RPM. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that here in a little bit. And then back it off. And then the other way. Now this has regen braking. Of course, you're not going to be able to see any of that happen here. But boy, it, it, uh, Oh, here's the part I don't know. I understand. Both motors are tied together here on the controller. Uh, this is a two-sided controller, so it's a 2 by 60 60 amp a side. And the configuration just calls for taking channel 1 uh, or your, your RC um, server, serve, receiver, and use, I'm using channel 1, and just basically running a jumper across uh, S1 and S2 pins and... That's it. Uh, so I got I got uh, zero volts is, is is ground the way we would typically think of it, or, or minus on the the little the cute little on here. They have a an S, a plus, and a minus. So the signal wire for me is the white. Um, I actually used to use computer things. I, I I saved these years ago out of computers. I used to strip. Who knew they would fit in there? Um, so I got the the. The white is signal, the red is uh, the positive wire, and the black is the uh, negative. So ran those in. I have it actually, the wire's in it for two channels. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it is a two-channel um, controller. So, uh, but yeah, there it is. I'm, I'm not sure why that is, uh, why that decides once in a while it's going to go. I don't know if it actually has any power to it. Oh, I see. If I stop it, it stops. Had a little bit there. That's interesting. So, but, now it does say in the, in, in, for the receiver to always have the handheld turned on first before you apply power to the receiver. Otherwise, you can have a, a situation like you saw when I powered up, uh, the motor will just run. Um, and I, I, I could see that could be a problem. Now, what I want to what I want to find out is what happens. If you walk away, if, if, it, if you say that it's running, if I just shut the thing off, what happens if I lose connection? I lost connection, it's off. Look at it, I lost it, it's in a ditch somewhere. It's still running, oh no, that can't be good. So that actually is a setting where it's supposed to maintain the speed you set until you turn it back on. And of course I had it there. Let's try that again, if I go forward, Shut off, it maintains. I'm gonna keep throttle full. 
I make connection, it keeps the auto full. Interesting. So there are some cases where you'd want that. You'd want that. There are cases where you would not want that. In my case, ride on locomotive, you do not want that. So I'm gonna to have to dig through the settings here and find out. But ideally what you would want is if you'd lose connection, it would go to a, not abrupt stop, but it would, it would you know, come down fairly quickly though, regen braking down to a stop. Uh, that would be the ideal. So I'm gonna to have to see if it'll do that. That would be, that would be cool. And I think, I know I read the instructions. Here again, this is the first time. I honestly didn't even think it was going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I got it rigged up to a set of batteries here on the on the bench. Yeah, it's, and I even have it propped up on cardboard boxes. That's really good for video. But there it is. Um, hopefully uh, more to come. Maybe I get figure that out, I'll have a, a follow-up video. Okay, I'll catch you on the next video. Later.